Now, if you love third-party applications on your Fire Stick, on your Android TV, then probably the main issue you have is how do you ensure that you're running the latest versions of these applications? Because in some cases, you may have downloaded the application from our website. Maybe you've downloaded it from somebody's filing store. There's just many ways or different areas where you can download these third-party applications from. So how can you ensure that you're running the latest version? Well, imagine there was a single application you could install on your Fire Stick, on your Android TV. And through this single application, you can now update all of your third-party applications with one click. So in this video today, let me show you how you can install this application on all of your devices and really just make updating all of your applications into a simple one-click process. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now I'm doing my demonstration on my third generation Fire TV Q, but you can follow this process on any other Amazon Fire TV device or any Android TV device. Now to get the latest version of this application, just open up Downloader. Let me do that now. And we can now make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can always type in the short code 534. Zero 02. Let's type that in and click on go. And that'll take you directly to my website. Let's open that up. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, the one with the three lines, click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get APK updater on all of your devices. Let's open that up. Here we are. So, APK updater is an open source utility that simplifies the process of finding updates for your installed applications. Let's scroll down and it says different repositories like Aptoid TV, which is a massive repository, as well as Fdroid, GitHub, and also APK Mirror and more. Let's scroll down. Here we see the step-by-step -step instructions. Keep scrolling down and you should now see a link to the latest version of this application, which is this one here. So let's click on that now, then scroll down and then click on the green download button. And this will download the latest version directly onto your device. Let's do that now. It's only a few megan size, but you can click on install, give that a second, and we've now installed that. Let's click on done. You can delete the installation file if you want to, but I'm gonna click on done. Let's now press the home key, and here's a new application there. So let's open that up. Now when the application starts for the first time, you can see it's doing a quick scan of my system. It's checking all of the applications I have installed. Now, before we click on the update, let me just show you a few things you need to do on your device, particularly on the Amazon devices, because certain repositories are not going to work properly. So if I navigate to the bottom and let's now click on settings. Okay, so Android TV UI, leave that enabled, keep scrolling down. And then you have the sources or the repositories. Now, these are the places where you're going to search for updates to your application. So GitHub, we can leave, GitLab, we can leave. Now on the Amazon devices, I do recommend turning off APK Mirror because if this is enabled, you may see an update from APK Mirror, but when you click on download, it will try to open up APK Mirror in a browser. Because there's no default browser on the Amazon devices that you can download with, this is why you'll have to keep this option turned off. Whereas on the Android TV devices, you can leave this option enabled. And I also recommend turning off Fdroid. So let's turn both these two off. Aptroid is a good one. APK Pure seems to be a bit hit and miss, but let's leave that one on. Keep scrolling down. The rest of them we can leave as default. I do recommend you make sure that this option is set to on, which is use safe sources on Aptroid TV because Aptroid TV is a, a massive, and I really do mean massive repository, but it does allow users to create their own repositories. So just to ensure that the repositories you download from are fully trusted, make sure you've turned on this option just to make sure everything is vetted properly. That's okay. Now to this day, I still don't understand why this application has a built-in alarm. If anybody knows, do leave me a comment below. Okay, based on that now with that new selection, I have 30 updates available. So here, for example, we can see the very popular Aurora store, which is basically the entire Play Store that you can install on your Fire Stick or your Android TV device, and it will allow you to access the entire Play Store library. We can see I'm running version 4.3.5, but version 4.6.2 is available. So how do we get it? Well, if I click on install, this should now make a connection to Aptor TV in the background, download the latest version for us, and then give us the prompt to install it. As you can see, it's done exactly that. So if I now click on install, give that a second, and let's see if that works first time. 
I think that will actually disappear once it completes. We get the update that it's now been installed correctly and we can see our updates has now moved down to 29. In fact, if I just go over to the settings, just to make sure that it has installed properly, if I go to my application list, go to manage install applications, I'm hoping that the raw store now will show the correct version number, which was 4.6.2. Now we can see it's done exactly that. So super easy to use, one click, and you're now running the latest version of these third-party applications. Let's go back to the updater. Okay, so we've got some other applications here. Um, okay, for example, VLC, very popular media player. We can see I'm running version 3.5.4, but 3.5.7 is out. How do I install it? So again, click on install app, click on install. That again begins a download. And hopefully in a few seconds, we should now see the prompt asking us to update VLC to the latest version. Click on install. And we should now be running version 3.5.7. There we are. So it took a bit of time, probably a bigger update, but that's worked fine. But there you go. In about, we can see it's running version 3.5.7, which is the latest version. So again, guys, literally one click and you can now update all of your favorite applications. But the amazing thing is APK Updater can even do more than that. So if I go back to the application, you can also go to search at the bottom. And I can now search across those different repositories and once again, install applications directly to my device. So let's say I'm looking for the very popular MX player, type that in, and this will now do a search across all of those repositories and tell me if any application matches that. And we can see some different options like HD MX player, light MX player, and there we've got the more standard one. So let's go and try and install this one at the bottom here. MX player, let's click on that. And you can see guys, now instead of me just searching different applications to install applications or going to different websites to find these applications directly through APK Updater, I can search for these applications and in one click, install them directly onto my Fire Stick or Android TV. It really is as easy as that. Give that a second and I'm hoping we'll now be running MX player on our device. So if I now press home, which we can see there. So I now have MX player running directly onto my device. So guys, you can see why I think it's a very impressive application, has some superb features, really just the easiest way to update anything installed on your device, but also allows you to search for other applications across those trusted repositories. And again, with one click, you can now get them on all of your favorite streaming devices. So definitely worthwhile checking out. The other thing I would say that right now, if you're looking for a superb offer for this Black Friday weekend, Surfshark are doing an amazing deal where you can get a super fast VPN. And when I say fast, I really do mean super fast, guys. So as you can see here with the quick speed test with the server based in New York, I'm comfortably pushing over 500 meg downstream. So super fast VPN. But what makes it more special is right now they've got an amazing offer where they're offering access to over 3200 servers in over 100 countries so wherever you need to get your virtual ip address from wherever you need to unlock your content from having servers in over 100 countries means you can do that without any issue whatsoever and to get all of that with a guaranteed 30-day money-back guarantee for 1.99 a month so cheaper than a cup of coffee with four months extra free I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel, so many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.